Hey friends, Will here. Answer me this. Have you ever been making a video and you've wanted to do like a cool zoom in effect? Or perhaps you want to do a little shout out to your subscribers to encourage them to follow you on Instagram? Or maybe you want to remind them to smash that like button or subscribe to your channel. Um, perhaps even you're just wanting to highlight something on screen for a minute. You know, maybe that's something you would want to do. Or maybe you're trying to talk about something and show it at the same time and you need like a split screen effect, right? If the answer to any of those questions was yes, then this video is going to be very helpful to you because I want to talk to you about a new titles pack, a template pack from Motion VFX called MTuber 3, which I believe is an amazing asset to any aspiring YouTuber and even freelance filmmakers. There's so much cool stuff in these packs. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to show you some of the bits that you get in the pack. Everything you need is linked down in the description if you want to check the pack out. Um, but before we get into it, I do just need to mention that I've been asked in my comments quite a lot about what titles I should use, where, I sh where to buy titles and templates from for Final Cut Pro. And in the past, I've always avoided kind of talking too much about it. I did make a previous video, um, which I'll link in the description, where I talk about different places you can buy assets from. But the problem is, there's a lot of fluctuation in the quality of Final Cut Pro assets that people are offering. And I've bought some packs from one person and then bought another pack thinking it would be good and it hasn't been. Some of them are really easy to use, others are really difficult. So it's a tricky one to recommend and it's a bit of a case of like, I've wasted so much money over the years by buying, trying and then sort of failing to use particular title packs. And you know, I have found a few good ones over the years. One such place, which uh, I've always found good assets from is Motion VFX. So that is why when Motion VFX reached out to me and asked me to make this video talking about this specific pack, which is the MTuber 3 pack, um, it was a no brainer for me. I'm you know, so happy to recommend uh, Motion VFX as a place to buy assets for Final Cut Pro because in my experience of using them, they've always delivered high quality assets that are easy to use. Um, that said, they did send me this pack for free to talk to you about it. So um, yeah, it's just worth you knowing that, I guess. So uh, yeah, already you've seen some of the things that have been popping up on screen as I've been talking to you so far. These are all assets that you get in this new pack and they're super easy to use. So let's dive into my screen and I'll show you a little bit more about them. So the first thing that I want to talk about, right, is the installer. When you buy anything from Motion VFX, the way that they're installed is through the M installer, which is a super easy app. You just install it to your Mac and you're ready to go. That controls all of your licenses for any templates or plugins that you've bought and also the updates for them. If you've ever bought assets from anywhere else, you'll probably be familiar with installing it into Final Cut Pro, trying to dig into the titles and generators folders. Maybe you're looking in the back end of Final Cut and trying to find where you put them to make them appear. How do you install them? Again, I've made videos on how to install effects, but with Motion VFX, effects, God, that's a lot of effects. With things that you buy from Motion VFX, you don't have to worry about any of that. You simply install their installer and they take care of everything else, including all of the fonts that they use in their packs, which is super helpful because that can be a real pain if you've experienced that with other packs that you buy and then you've got to go off and find what fonts they've used and download those and install those and it can be a pain. So that's the first thing to mention. All of the products that you can buy from Motion VFX use the installer and it's just such a hassle-free way to install effects into Final Cut Pro. Once you've installed the packs, that's all done and dusted, they are going to appear in your titles tab over here in the browser so you can see them here. Um, also they're going to, some of them are going to appear in the transitions so this particular pack comes with loads of cool backgrounds. Lo 
loads of really cool call to actions that you can use for um, overlaying over your videos. You're also gonna get this cool feature, which I quite like, perfect for YouTubers, which is the chapter animations, which is quite nice. Then we've got these corner elements, a few things there for bringing stuff in. Uh, you would have seen me use that one um, earlier. And then we've got some nice intros. So these intros, like even straight out of the box, they're really great, but with a little bit of customization, a bit of personalization, you can get your own brand into them. And it's a real nice way for a kind of, you know, a non-designer, a non-motion graphics professional to create some pretty professional looking intros for their YouTube videos. So that's really nice. Then we've got a load of social media stuff social media icons and little shout outs like this. Uh, there we go, like Patreon one there, that's pretty nice. Um, then we've got some nice tools which come in this pack. So zoom effect, so much time spent in the past manually keyframing in to kind of do a punch in on a, on a scene and now it's just like, boom, there's my face, you know? And zoom back out again. It's so easy to do. And then we've also got some lovely basic kind of typography, just titles, just, you know, when you just need to get a bit of text on screen. I'm just gonna show you how you can kind of customize them to match your particular chosen aesthetic. So first of all, right, I've just opened up my YouTube video from last week, which was a tutorial video. Um, it just gives us something to play with for the sake of this. And straight away, I have dropped in this lovely little lower third with a little YouTube icon and my name. So nice. So I'm going to show you how you apply most of these effects. They're all quite similar in the way that they work. So if I just delete that one so we can have a play again, I'm going to go into my titles. I'm going to find the one that I want. So that one, I think I used this one. So it's called Typography 4. So I'm going to click on it, drag it onto my timeline and then straight away you can see that it appears and then in the inspector pane I can come in here and I can change the text we've got two boxes for this one so you can style them individually if you want to so I've just put my name in there and I mean that is kind of it if that's on screen for too long I can shorten it down and it's going to adjust the animation. Lovely. Now, if I said, okay, so I like to use the same font on all of my YouTube videos, so, and this pack obviously doesn't use the same font, so, but if I wanted to change that, it's as simple as coming into the inspector again, finding the text box, which uh, I've put my name in, and then just below that, you can see title font, it's on Roboto, Roboto. So if I do G, which will jump me to the G's, there's Geomanist, which is my favorite font and the one I'm using for my channel. And then I'll scroll down here and find the subtitle font, which is my surname. And then I'll do G again, jump to Geomanist there. And then if I wanted to, I could change the weight of that one to be bolder or you know, I'll go black. So just to match that, the way they originally designed it. And hey presto, that is that done. So they all kind of work the same. Now I mentioned the zoom, I showed you that cool zoom effect. Let me show you how easy that is to achieve. So if we come into our uh, titles browser up here, we find this zoom effect. We can drag that zoom onto the timeline, put it above the clip that we want to be zoomed, and straight away, it zooms. So then we say, okay, well maybe that's not exactly the zoom we want. We can go up to our viewer, you see this circle here, we can quickly drag that circle to where we do want the zoom to be. Maybe we think that it's a bit too zoomed in, so we can come up here and we've got our camera Z position, and we can adjust how zoomed we want that to be. 
And look at that, so quick and easy. The hours I have spent manually cropping and zooming in on clips, I cannot express how pleased it makes me to have that quick punch in. The other thing about this is it's got really nice easing controls. So this out of the box, this is how it zooms. But if you wanted to, I can click on that. I can come into the inspector panel and we've got the, the Z ease in. So we can ramp that right up like so. And now it's like a really quick sort of punch in, but it's just really nicely done. It's not the same as the awkward kind of cropping that you get when you use like Ken Burns or just manually keyframing. So just so nice, I love that. Uh, what else have we got? So we've got, let's say that I wanna shout out another YouTube video that I've done previously. This is a nice one uh, here, this corner screen three. So if I drag that onto my timeline, and you can see what this brings up is a little drop zone here. So if I click on the effect, I come to my drop zone here in the inspector, and I select that, it's gonna bring this second window up, and all of these drop zones, any of these effects that have a drop zone, they all work exactly the same as this one. Um, I can then come to my browser where my footage is and I can find a bit of footage, say from the video uh, that I'm imaginarily shouting out right now. So maybe it's this bit of a tripod review, for example. So I select the bit of a clip that I want in there. I can apply that clip and now just like that, A lovely little shout out with a nice 3D YouTube icon. Pretty good, right? So moving on from that, let's have a look at what else we've got. So much fun stuff. Uh, I showed you uh, earlier on in my intro, this nice kind of social, social shout out, I guess we could say. Let's put one of these over here on this bit. So drag that on. So now, again, this one's got a drop zone as well, but I'll do something slightly different with this one. So in this drop zone, I'm gonna click on the drop zone, go to my video browser, and somewhere in here, I've got my profile picture, my silly face. I'm gonna apply that. And then within here, I can change the scale of the avatar and the position of the avatar. So I might say, well, I'm not quite, I don't feel like I'm quite centered here. So I could say um, at the pan here, so I can move myself around within the circle and get myself how I wanna be. I can even change how zoomed in I am, that's a bit better, and then I can align myself up a little bit more how I want to be. There we go. And then obviously this is currently for YouTube, but maybe I don't, maybe I want to be talking about a different social media platform. So in here, I can change this to Instagram. And there we go. And I've also got, do I want this 2D style? I think I like the 2D style. I mean, the 3D style is pretty cool but let's do the 2D style on this particular one. And then again, we can just change the text nice and easily. So we'll do text one, I'm gonna do at Will Chidlow, which is my handle on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already. It'd be lovely to have a chat with you over there. Um, and then what have we got? We've got another little subline. So we can turn that subline off if you just want something simple, or we could come in here and I'll just say, um, faffing around with cameras. There we go, that's pretty good. And again, I can change the typeface of these titles as well if I want to make them feel more in keeping with my, you know, my personal brand. Um, so we'll go bold for the handle and then we'll come down here. We can change this one. Where's my font? Germanis. There we go, lovely. And that, to me, I mean, that's taken like, what, a minute to add that? And I just feel like that's really nice 
and you know really quite polished so what else can we play with oh the other thing that's really nice is the um these transitions that come with it so if i were to pop this transition here on this clip then it's going to transition in and out like so and yet again unlike a lot of transition packs which you'll find available these are completely customizable which makes them really powerful so we can click on the transition we can come up to the um, inspector panel and we've got lines lines dot color background color so i could change this background color to my really garish blue that i like to use and i could change this background color to my nice hot pink that i like to use and i could make the lines let's make them pink as well and we could do these lines as white maybe let's see what that looks like instantly feels like my youtube video because those are the colors that i use and again 10 seconds to do that and it's really really nice what other cool stuff can i show you i feel like there's so much cool stuff in this pack that i'm never going to be able to cover everything with you in this video but i just want to give you a flavor for you know what's available in there. Um, oh, what about the split screen? The split screen effect's pretty cool. So look, this split screen here, we drag it onto our timeline, put it over the top of our footage, and it just brings in a split screen. Simple as that. And then we can click on that, come into the inspector. We can use that drop zone, go back into our video browser, and I can find a bit of footage here. Maybe something like, I don't know, like this bit here maybe. And, okay, so I mean, that's not the most elegant implementation of the effect, but you get the idea. And again, you can change the <clears throat> length really easily. And it's just very, very usable. And yeah, there's loads of stuff in here, dead easy to use. So anyway, I feel like I've gone on about this long enough for the sake of this video. I hope that you get the idea that this pack could seriously elevate anybody's YouTube channel, it looks super professional, it's really easy to use, and yeah, I'm just a big fan of Motion VFX. There's lots of cheaper, assets available out there but if you're serious about the time that you spend making videos and the quality of the output that you're creating then i would say it's really worth the extra investment to buy motion vfx assets um, as a side note my intro that you see at the start of all of my videos is a collection of motion vfx assets which i've mash together to create my own what i think is quite a cool little intro um, it's not in the assets that are in this particular pack it's one of their other packs which i actually purchased myself and use regularly um, so yeah if you think that that is something that's helpful to you um, then let me know in the comments down below i've put links in the description to motion vfx it is an affiliate link full disclosure but go and check out motion vfx if you don't like the look of these particular title packs then have a look at their other titles they've got loads of templates and effects that are really cool and i'm sure they'll have something which you will like and honestly i think it's such a worthwhile investment to spend a bit on some decent assets which are going to work hard for you and save you time in creating good quality content so i'll leave it there for today thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.